I don't like paying for World of Warcraft with money. I'm going to show you how you can play the game for free using nothing but in-game currency. Okay, so now that the the clickbaity bits out of the way, sorry for that. Um, let's get down to the to the nitty gritties. Get down to business now. Three months ago, as you can see, I well, you can't see for three months. I had around about hundred k on my account, something like that. Round about hundred, call it hundred to hundred and fifty to a hundred ish thousand gold on on my entire account, which isn't a massive amount it was okay for me it paid my repairs i could buy my flasks with it if there's anything i really needed i could get it i was self-sufficient shall we say it wasn't a big problem now as you can see from the graph here i'm sitting on in fact if i just mouse over my my gold on my bank is 959,332 gold 51 copper and i have 1.1 million on this server okay so i've gone from Call it 135k to 1,135k in, you know, a recent amount of time, within a, within a few months. So it's not difficult to make gold in this game. It really isn't. You've just got to have the right tools and the right mindset. Now, the mindset, I can't help you with. You need to work that one out yourself. The tools, however, I can. And that's why you're here. We're going to have a little look at this add-on in front of us here. It's a trade skill master. There's a few steps to go through, so I'm going to spread it out over a few videos. The first one here is going to be just getting it up and running, getting it installed, and then we'll move on from there, and we'll see what we need to do. All right, so let's get you making some gold. I mean, I can already hear you saying, ah, how did you make so much money? And it is easy. It's like I say, it's easy. It's Trade Skill Master. It does it all for you. Now, if anyone said to me that I could only use one set of add-ons for my entire time in warcraft from now on we call us out the window elf out the window dbm i can live without that tsm no i need this i need this add-on this would be the one that i keep it really really would because it does an absolute shed load and more you know there's no limit you can go as far down the rabbit hole with trade skill master as you want to and for some people scratching the surface just to make a few things easier it's all you need for some other people they go so deep it makes your head spin it really does so without further ado let's um move on let's get trade skill master up and running we'll get the add-on installed we'll get the accounts all done all the bits and bobs like that and we'll start bringing in some of those sweet sweet golds so before we get down and dirty and start making tons of gold so we never ever have to pay for warcraft ever again you need the add-on. You need to install it. It's quite important. So what we do is we pull up the Twitch client, what used to be the Curse client, but is now Twitch. I think they bought them out recently or they merged something along those lines. Now, this is not a singular add-on. There is a large selection of them. So it's a suite more than a single add-on. So you've got your Twitch client open. Now, click the search box, type in trade. Don't try type in Trade Skill Master because it never finds anything. The search function on Twitch is a little bit ropey. So just type in Trade, it'll come up. You want Trade Skill Master, which is the base add-on itself, so we need that. Trade Skill Master Auctioning. This is the part of the add-on that handles all of the auctioning, funnily enough, clues in the name. Trade Skill Master Auction DB stands for auction database this is the storage for all of the individual pricing and all the little bits and bobs like that so again really important we need that trade skill master app helper definitely need that one because it talks to the app that updates your, your auction prices trade skill master shopping does what it says on the tin it helps you buy things which is good trade skill master crafting really really good because it shows you how much something would cost to craft and how much it'll sell for, if there's any profit or if there's any loss involved in it. Trade Skill Master Accounting, put my teeth back in, keeps track of all your gold in, all your gold out on all of your characters. Different guilds, different characters, different servers, really, really good. Shows what your biggest earner is, what 
you've made a loss on, how much you're making a day, how much you've made a week in the last 30 days, you name it, the accounting add-ons got it in there. Really, really good. All put together in a really nice line graph. Awesome. Tread Skill Master Mailing. Never again do you have to hunt through your bags for BOEs to send to your enchanter to be disenchanted. You can set up a mailing operation to do it for you. It's brilliant. Tread Skill Master Destroying is the other part of it. So, for example, I've sent... Say I've sent a couple of mails of random quest greens to my paladin to be disenchanted. I don't even need to pull disenchant out of my spellbook. A destroying window will open up and I click a button a few times and it just disenchants everything on the list for me one at a time. Really good, absolute brilliant time saver. And Trade Skill Master Vendoring, never really used it, but it's all for vendoring. It it changes the shopping window for vendors. So you can you, it makes buying things from a vendor an awful lot easier, put it that way. And the warehousing allows you to set rules up to automatically move a certain amount of an item to your bank or to your guild bank if you've got one, all this sort of stuff. Again, they all work together and they all rely on this main trade skill master add-on here to work. As you can see, there are others underneath. Cooldowns, competitor tracker, additions, so on and so forth. You do not want these. If it is not authored by Sapu94, it is not an official trade skill master add-on, okay? So, price checker is by Seraphim, not a legit one. Wow auction, yeah, that's a Sapu one. However, it's massively out of date. Massively out of date. It's for Wow 6.2, so we don't need that. That's integrated into the main part now, as is additions. These have all been incorporated into the main add-on, so you don't need any others. Warehousing, vendoring, destroying, mailing, accounting, crafting, shopping, app helper, auction DB, auctioning, and the main add-on. That is all that you're going to need. So, you've got the add-ons installed. Let's move on to the next step. So, first of all, you need to mosey on over to tradeskillmaster.com. Links will be in the description below, um, along with all the other bits and bobs that come along with this. And you need to do two things. The first one, the most important one, is you need to create an account. This is key. You can't just use this without being signed up. It doesn't cost you anything. Completely free. Get that done. Once that's all sorted, you download the TSM Helper app by really simply, once you're all logged in, as you can see here, there's me. You click Install TSM. Now, Install TSM will take you to the page. You want this one here, Trade Skill Master App. Now, as it says, the Trade Skill Desktop Application, TSM app, keeps your add-on data up to date, provides access to powerful TSM website features. Most of the features, to be fair, I turn them off, I don't use them. But the biggest things it does is it keeps your auction database up to date and it provides backups of your Trade Skill Master settings because this can be a bit of a pain to get going correctly. It takes a bit time consuming. The last thing you want to happen is for, a, you know, you, you delete the wrong add-on or you've got to reinstall a lot of add-ons, you delete Trade Skill Master by mistake. You can double click the backup on the Trade Skill Master window and it just reinstalls it. Simple as that, all done. All your groups are back in there. All your operations are back. It's absolutely brilliant. The app itself, I know a lot of people are concerned, especially with Warcraft account stuff, is 100% safe. It's been checked by an awful lot of people. Um, a lot of people are an awful lot more well-known than me. And like I say, all it does is it keeps your pricing up to date without you having to go through the pesky scanning that takes hours on high population servers. Um, and once that's done, obviously whilst we're still on the website as well, what you need, also need to do is to tell Trade Skill Master where you are, as in in the game, not in real life, what server you're on. So you're logged in. Um, I've got TSM set to the dark theme, just better with my system. You might have a very white page. You go to your username here, app configurations, the first option, and the little fly out menu here. First one there is realm selection. So you click on realm selection. This will take you to this page. Ignore the red box that we've just had. 7.3.5 land on the live servers this week and as is normal the auction house api is down at the moment so the scanning doesn't really work and it's about five days out of date that will catch up in a few days time usually it's a known thing it happens all the time every time there's a new patch the api changes goes down and everyone that uses it has to update it so this isn't a tsm thing this is a blizzard end thing now as you can see i have one realm 
brain or however you want to pronounce it, in the EU, last updated five days ago, which is the, the, the last time TradeSkillMaster.com got a scan of the auction house using the AP. Now, if I wanted to add a realm, say I wanted to move to... Ba, 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 ba. In fact, pop on a Gamma Gam. That was my old realm um, from years and years ago. I think I might still have a character on there. So we'll install a Gamma Gam, add realm, done. That's it. So once you've got your realm listed, all you need to do with the website, you can close the website down, jobs are good and we can move on to the in-game configuration, start getting everything set up for you. And that's it for episode one. Um, we've got the add-on installed, we've got the app helper set up, we've got our realm information put into the TSM website and you've got your own account on there. Next episode will be the very basics, making sure everything's where it needs to be, getting the add-ons on, all the usual bits and bobs. We'll go from there and um, we'll create our first group and operation and get our first auctions gone. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Keep an eye out for the next episode. Should be along in the next couple of days.